we got in here. Oh, nothing wrong with it. It looks good. This is a very neat little toy. Um, better put these in the back so they don't fall out of that trailer. Tell you what guys, it's been a slow, slow night. Thought we got both of these with chargers. Let's hope they work. Say a little jackpot here, nothing crazy good. Looks like it's never been open. Let's see. Never been opened. I think these just come apart. I can fix this. Let's see what we've got here. Oh. So sorry, ma'am. See this wooden. I'm gonna take that. I need these for the booth. Man. I don't know about that bench guys it's uh, really chewed up here but I guess you can cut it there cut it there cut it there cut it there yeah the bottom dang the bottom is so ate up let me think about that for a minute this is a nice piece but it came off Uh, completely broken too. You'll see that. It's been a, repair's been attempted on that, but let's see what we got over here. I don't know if I want to go through that. Baseball clothes.
through and ripped all this open. Oh, let's see. Tighten that up. Don't want to miss that. Need that little visor piece of corn. But we'll take these letters. Kind of liked some of them. Wow, Nintendo Switch. I mean, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Y'all don't believe me that I find the coolest stuff. Look at that. You kidding me, Nintendo Switch? Okay, I'm gonna take this whole bag. In this case, there's something else in here. Take this bag because um, there's some good toys in here. A little bit wobbly, but I just got to tighten these up, and we'll be good.
That's all I can reach. think no compression to it but we can fix that dogs barking I'm gonna crap my style too much noise someone's gonna come out mad all right good night of picking got everything off the trailer wasn't a whole lot but uh we found some pretty good decent things so let's take a walk around see what we got and uh i think we're gonna do pretty well i'm gonna start off over here on this side uh let's see over here you got this is for like a a vacuum shredder i want to say it's for the echo yeah it's for the echo which i have this same uh, vacuum slash blower so I'm gonna keep this this is the bag and the uh, the, uh, the the phone or whatever just in case mine were to break or something so I think I'm gonna hold on to those just in case all right moving on over here of course you see the Daisy uh, BB gun pellet gun looks to be in excellent condition you probably just needs to replace the uh, the CO cartridge inside to get it up to uh, pressure. It's a really nice piece. You got these three stools. Um, real good condition. They're not eaten up or chewed up. Uh, they're a little, some of them got a little wobble to them, but that's just gonna be some tightening of some screws and we'll be good to go. Of course, I remember all the toys. My goodness, man, those dogs were barking up a storm and I just, I, I hated to leave early, but Last thing I wanted is for so I'm gonna come out and start yelling at me and get the cops called. So I went ahead and left. But we picked up this guy here, this big one right here, 
and this here and I'm not sure if any of those go together but I'll pick those three up now y'all did see that there was some those little power uh, power toys those those like four wheelers or whatever but the thing is, is like if those batteries don't work they take up a lot of space and you really don't get that much for them because someone's got to go buy the battery and the charger and that costs way more than I would have been able to sell the other thing for so I don't know uh, it was still early enough that maybe someone either that night or maybe in the next morning picked those up but uh you know if it weren't for those dogs i might have gotten them but you know i had to get out of there all right moving on you got this go tracks it's a uh what do you call the hoverboards or whatever i uh, got this one i uh, got the charger over there this cool little weight bench i've never seen one like this it's for kids uh pretty neat got the weights I mean, it's, 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 it's pretty legit, except that it's obviously foam, so it's not going to be heavy. You got the two scooters. You got that little, it's like a Razor scooter, but it's not. It's a VRO with the charger, so we'll plug it in and see if it all works. Um, over here, you did have this bag full of, well, I filled it up with tools, but there's all these tools that I think could be worth some money. I'm not sure what this is. Um, does this go with that? I'm not sure what it is, to be honest with you. Maybe something to. Hmm, what is this? Over push consider. Chain disconnections to a disconnect chains, maybe? Anyways, it was that. I'll have to find out, see what these are worth. Um, I've never seen a tool like this, so I don't know what this is for. Acme Machine Company, Fort Worth, Texas. So if y'all see this and you know what it is, y'all go ahead and leave a comment because I don't know what this is. It's some kind of mechanism to tighten or maybe to, I don't know, lift. It's kind of hard to tell. I'm not sure. But I'm sure I got a viewer out there that's gonna know exactly what it is. So y'all please do leave me a comment got this tool breezer painted and pen painting don't know what that's for either there's just some there's just some unique tools in here that i wanted to get them all because i mean they could still be worth some money what is this true balance tool so it's threaded on one side and then you've got about a three quarter inch nut there so i'm not sure what these are for Similar thing here. True Balance Wheel Centering products. Okay. I'll do some research. I'll be able to figure these out. This guy. Look at this. This is Bead Keeper. Pant Pending. This is vintage. This is, I mean, this is so cool. I've never seen a tool like that ever. And you got some of these drivers oh then you got this set right here this is one that was drive on rib grip lug off toolkit so that looks like it'd be a complete little set i have to see what that's worth made in the usa obviously vintage so you got that stuff going right there uh you got this pelican ice chest which i was surprised to see in this good of a condition to be honest with you because usually when people throw out an ice chest it's cracked um it's got a hole in it but this one here got these locks that come in which is really nice opens right on up let me put that down it's super clean on the inside the gasket looks i mean practically new inside looks practically new um it's a little dirty around the handles i don't see anything wrong with this thing it locks into place very very cool look on the side you got the stopper now the only thing is that this might be leaking by but i don't know it feels pretty secure no cracks at the bottom this is probably so far the, my favorite thing so i'm gonna get this all this stuff put away and we'll get these two bags we found that nintendo switch 
the Nintendo Switch guys couldn't believe it. I'm gonna get the, uh, the bags up here, go through it up here, and put the stuff away, and we'll be here in just a second. This is the stuff that we found this Globe Mega Designer um, crafting kit. Uh, Beyblade bust, whatever. Oh, I mean, that might be, might not be in brand new condition. I see it is taped, but I mean, pretty good still. That uh, we did have. The Nintendo uh, Switch, and this sucker works, guys. Boom, look at that. So that's going to start up on all these letter G's. That one. This one looks like it might light up. Yeah. Didn't use batteries, probably. Got the big G. And then the bigger G. So, got that going on. There's Minecraft that's rolling. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. We're going to shut this off. Power options, turn off. I couldn't believe that, guys. One of the coolest finds so far. All right, let's go. Let me see, I don't have my stand. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do is kinda go through this stuff here, see what we can find. Now, there is some junk in here that, that is trash. Like this here, this is like obviously, what, well, like, shower curtain yeah so like that's gonna be trash obviously all right so we got some shoes look at that got these shoes here let's get a shoe there we go these are nikes i don't know who makes those but it looks to be in pretty good condition all right so let's see i'm gonna dig through here see if i can do somewhat of a quality video got a bag of tricks a box of tricks <laughs> Let's see, another G. That's a big one right there. Let's see. We got, oh, we got the Jeep Rubicon. Look at that. Got the Jeep. Found a Jeep in the trash. Got a little pineapple purse thingy with a nickel. All right. I could probably put this at the booth. It's kind of neat. Let's see, what else we got? Oh, look at that. It's a pocket knife. Ooh, this guy is not in good condition. But it's got a marking on there that might be a Native American uh, symbol there or the guy who made it. I'm gonna have to take this home and pry this open, clean it up. It's got a lot of weight to it, guys. A lot of weight. So, I can't get this open. Now, it's been a while since it's been open, so I'm gonna take that home, because that's actually a really nice find. I'm gonna take that home to see what it's about. Let's see. Got a little cross. Nothing. Got this little. What brand is this? I know it's popular, but I forget the name every time I see it. Vera Bradley. Looks like it would hold jewelry, I think. Too bad there's no jewelry in here, but who knows? There might be some here at the bottom. A bunch of goldfish. So, let's see. Let's try to get y'all in here with me a little bit. Nothing. 
See, this is like a purse either. Put the wallet. The monkey. There's a big old purse. It's a cute little purse. I don't know, I might, might try to put that on Facebook or something. Frozen, oof. I'm about to see if... Oh man, this is all jacked up. Okay, not going to be able to do anything with that one. Let's see, what else we got in here? I don't see anything else. A little keychain. Soap, shampoo. Paper down here at the bottom. Another little G. Alright, so what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to dig through here for a little bit. See if there's anything else I can't find. And then uh, we'll hit the next bag. Alright, so the only thing else that I found in there that was kind of worth showing was this little necklace here. It's a necklace and earrings. I'm going to get a closer look for you guys so you guys can take a look at it. And I think this is a perfect giveaway opportunity for y'all. So you got the Texas, look at that, what do y'all think? Texas earrings and Texas necklace. Yeah, boy, this is gonna be the next giveaway right here. That's a good little giveaway. It's not a an expensive set, but it's very cute. And this is personally from, you know, for me, uh, something that I find and it's directly associated with my channel being the Texas picker, this little necklace and the earrings there. Um, that's gonna be a perfect, perfect giveaway. And uh, I'm glad I found those. Uh, so for this week's contest, um, it's gonna be the Texas earrings and the Texas necklace. Uh, they look like they're stainless steel. They're not silver from what I could tell. Um, definitely not gold, but they can be yours. All you gotta do is comment anything with Texas. Just type in the word Texas. I love Texas, hey, Texas picker. Whatever you wanna put in there. Type in the word Texas and that's gonna put you in for the drawing to win the earrings and the necklace, all right? So good luck for this next contest, guys. I love doing these things. Uh, hope uh, you guys enjoy it. It's not always really good stuff. It's not some, sometimes it's not really expensive stuff, but um, it's something for me, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So this one definitely had a bunch of toys in it. And uh, I don't think we're gonna go through all this today, guys. Got this Fisher Price little house set. Let's see what else we got in here. You got Barbie. Looks like you got shovel. <laughs> oh lord. A little car. That's cool little car. So let me dig around in here for just a minute to see what else we can find. Let's see. But I think this is all it's gonna be is toys like this. Kid craft. Got an etch a sketch. See if it works. How about that? That's your keyword, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Not too bad, huh? All right, guys. Sorry if the video felt a little bit rushed, but as you can see by the lighting, the sun's coming down, and I got some more trash picking to do, guys. I got another video to make for y'all, so I got to get back out there and get to the piles before anybody else does, so I can make these awesome videos for you. So. We'll leave y'all with this lord i just want to thank you father for the opportunity to get out there and save this stuff from landfill father i just want to thank you for just blessing me with health uh blessing me with you know the things that i need to be able to do this lord uh for the motivation for the inspiration father from other youtubers to go out there and do this and uh i just want to thank you lord just for just 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 for your love and abundance lord for everything that you do for me and my family i just ask you that you would watch over my viewers that you would protect them with your with your powerful protective hands that you would heal them miraculously father whatever they may be going through uh for those who are feeling sick for those who are feeling lonely despair lord that you would rip that out of them lord and replace it with your abundance with your love with your peace and that you would let them know that you are still the god of gods and the lord of lords and that nothing formed against them, Father, no weapon formed against them, Lord, will prosper. I just speak these words to my viewers, Father, that they would get to know you better, that they'd seek a relationship with you, Lord, and that, uh, and that they would just know your love. 
uh, know your love that comes with a relationship with you. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. All right, amen, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys. Type in Texas for the chance to win the earrings and the ring and the necklace, okay? Um, the winner was announced uh, the other week for the other stuff, and that should be on its way. Uh, good luck for the next contest. Until next time, peace.